you know, one of the, um, I guess one of the most important things on this journey from, um, from, from where you are now to living a lighter life and embracing the art of intuitive eating is that um, the actual um, food and exercise part is about 10% of what you do and 90% of what you do is actually inner work. And that's what one of the things we're going to be talking about today, in particular two aspects of the inner work. One is the power of visualization and number two the power of the first 20 minutes of your day. So let's talk about visualization. I'm currently reading a book um, by Dr. Joe Dispenza, one of my favorites, um, and the book is Becoming Supernatural. In the book, he shares a number of studies where people have actually visualized themselves doing something and rather than actually doing it, he um, talks about people learning to play piano and he also talks about people who want to increase the muscle mass in their bicep by actually just visualizing over a period of time and putting a certain amount of emotion behind it that the synapses in the brain actually recreated the ability to actually play the piano and interesting enough in one study where they were increasing the muscle mass in the um, bicep, they actually show that the strength increased just by visualization. And there's another aspect to this, and that's the emotion underneath it. It's really important when you're visualizing. It's not just the visual um, view of whatever you want. It's actually the emotion that underpins it. That's what's so important. You know, uh, you know I used to hear of people all the time who were dieting, for instance, and would put a, a picture of a girl in a bikini or a guy with a six-pack on their fridge. So every time they open it, they'd see this image. What's far more important is that you create the image yourself of you and also you put a level of emotion. So what's the feeling that you want to experience in the goal that you're achieving? Well, it could be anything. But if it's about your body, for instance, what's the feeling? Is it more joy? Is it more energy? Is it more confidence? That's the visualization that you want to create. I want you to feel that feeling. Now, the second aspect of this is the best time to visualize is actually first thing in the morning. In the first 20 minutes from the time that you wake up till the time you kind of get your act together, that first 20 minutes is so incredibly important when the brain is in that wonderful um, coming out of the subconscious into the alpha state. That's where you can really create powerful visualizations, powerful intentions. How you spend that first 20 minutes is so important. If you're waking up and reaching for your phone to check your social media, uh, your emails, perhaps you might be checking the news, automatically your mind is shifted out of that, wonder, that wonderful creative space, out of your mind, onto something else. So that first 20 minutes, if you can spend time in meditation and visualization, feeling the feeling, it can really set your day off to a great, great start. So two steps on this journey today. Number one, uh, to believe it, see it and become it. So create the meditation, create the intention and what do you want to see? What does a visualization? That's what's so important can drive you in those really, you know, challenging times. And the second thing, how are you spending the first 20 minutes of your day? Let me know in the comments below how you spend the first 20 minutes of your day when you wake up. And if you've tried meditation and journaling, has it made a difference in your life? See you soon.